Hey, look at this. At last, the, uh, the pedal-powered Dream Machine's arrived. It's a, a Galaxy Sturgeon FX, so basically it's an updated version of me previous kayak with a pedal drive as well. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing for you today and I'm going to put it all together and uh, I'll focus on the little bits I think might be tricky and you might want to know about. Um, I'll give you a little look around it first. So, yesterday the, uh, the pedal drive arrived and the seat and uh, today two gentlemen have dropped off this. Basically, if you can't afford a Hobie, this is what you get. So this is going to take a little while, so uh, just bear with us. Brilliant tackle box in the middle there. Second tackle box you get free, which goes under your seat. It's a paddle. I've already got uh, a couple of paddles, so I probably won't use that. The scupper plugs are all in their holes, apart from one which is missing, but it's just up here at the back. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this out the sun. I'm going to put it over there in the shade so that we can uh, we can have a proper look at it without fear of melting everything. Hey, eh? let's do that. So let's have a little look at the uh, the flipper drive in here. What we got? So we've got a couple of spare flippers there. They're in a, a lovely baby blue, but I don't suppose anybody's going to see those. Maybe just the fish. So that's not a problem. Got uh, pedals times two. That's handy. A couple of spare straps. For the pedals, a little bit of marine grease there, and uh, of course, the actual flipper drive itself, which looks quite impressive. Uh, we'll get that stuck in, we'll get that put together in a bit, but first we'll have a little look at the seat. The box is a bit damaged, but uh, everything seems to be in order inside. So some of the stuff in here you won't get because I've paid extra for it, but uh, that you will get. It's a, a rod rest. Um, you will get these two G-Star mounts. Basically, anything real blazer will fit into them. I bought these separately to go with the rails, and uh, here's the seat. I do like the look of that, so let's get that out. Excellent. This is one of the uh, things I've been really looking forward to, is uh, having a comfortable seat, because I tend to get a bit of a numb butt, because I stay out for long periods of time, you know, I can stay out for six seven eight hours sometimes so there's the seat there and it's uh three different heights uh if i can work it out open it up there we go one two three so we'll uh we'll get that on the kayak and uh yeah brilliant oh it feels really good really well constructed so we'll stick that on the kayak and we'll we'll uh, maybe fasten that on next or maybe we'll put the flipper drive in first so these bolts here are what keep the flippers in We'll take those out for starters and uh, there's one on each side obviously there we go and you want the blunt edge forward so you've got the thin edge there you've got the rounded blunt edge there that's the edge that goes forward so when you're trying to work out which way the pedals go they're held on by uh, a bit of bungee there and so that will right the pedal the correct way yeah and so it goes in here so you can get that there like that these numbers you just want it to be in the middle as far as i'm aware anyway so this is the next bit pop that in there I'll just hand tighten these. I'll tighten them up with a uh, ratchet in a minute. With a spanner in a minute, I should say. And the next one in. I don't know how much of this you can see, but uh, we'll keep going. <laughs> right, let's get that through. There we go. Bolt in this side too. And we'll drop it into the kayak in just a second. I mean, this couldn't be any simpler, this bit. So, pop them on there. There's a little uh, spacer in here, which uh, I'm 100% going to lose, but uh, I'll try my best not to. So, in my pop, is that the right way around? Yeah, of course it is. Put that in there. Okay, lean it to the left, pull it slightly to the right. There you go. It's a nice tight fit. Have a look at that then there. Eh? 
brilliant. Look at that. Hey, eh? <laughs> fantastic. Let's have a little look down below. There we go, eh? <laughs> get in. Right, so let's get this out of the way and we'll get the seat attached. So, what you get in the uh, box with the seat in the in the plastic are these. Don't forget these two screws and those two there as well. So, I've had a little look and basically working it out, you can see there's a little bit of a runner on here. These go above one of those brass inserts and they're the slidey bits at the back. These go on the end of the legs at the front. These other brass inserts and you can tighten these up to stop the seat moving. I'm going to assume they go on that way so the screws are at the front because that would just make sense. Right, so let's uh, get these slidey ones in first. Right, so these, obviously the back of the seat I think just snaps in there. So I'll just attach them. First they're going straight into these little brass inserts at the back that slide along. Uh, you don't want it too tight because obviously I think it has to slide, doesn't it? Yeah, so I think that's probably about right. Maybe I'll loosen that a tiny bit because the actual bolt can't come back out, I suppose, once you've uh, done it because uh, it's going to have the chair's leg on it, isn't it? So it's going to be secure, whatever happens. Let's get this one in and we'll get the seat snapped on. There we go. Right, so we'll uh, click the chair in. Give us a moment, I'll just grab that. So I'm gonna guess that these are gonna just slot in here, are they? But it's gonna be a, quite a push that, so uh, not for the faint hearted. Here we go, just push it in. It's just, just not a noise you wanna hear really, is it? <laughs> but it's the right way to do it. Next, we've got to put these on, so I'm assuming I have to go on at each end, and because of where we are now, you need to put them on at the same time, I'm going to guess. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to lift the chair up if you screwed the other one on. So we'll get that in. Is that right? Yeah, fairly certain that's right. Oh, it's not, it's not gone on all the way. There we are. Right, and then you need to try and line them up over the brass inserts at the same time. So we might need to give this a little tweak there. Ah, that wasn't too bad, was it? Now that should, in theory, if I loosen these off, slide backwards and forwards, if I've done it right. Yes, and it does. I have already on the old uh, Galaxy taken the rudder off to change all the ropes and, uh, and have a mess around with it. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully, I'll try not to cut the rope um, where am I going to start with this? Certainly packed well. <laughs> right, I'll probably uh, fast forward through all of this stuff. We're out. Get rid of this plastic. Here's the rudder. There should be, with it, a split pin. And I don't see that. There you go. Here's a split pin in here. So they're really quite simple, these rudders. That's the good news. Uh, I'm putting this on just for you but as it happens I'm going to end up taking the back off because I'm going to fit orange ropes to everything because I think they really go with this uh, colour kayak so we'll just get these sorted out over here and get this in there you are and then this is just a split pin fits in under here I'll just show you that the split pin goes in here uh, I might not put it in just yet because, as I said, I'm going to change the rudder. Actually, I can put it in because I don't need to take the rudder off to do that. It goes straight in there, then you just bend it out on the other side with a pair of pliers to make it stick. Uh, these are tied off on here so they don't go back inside of the kayak. I'll just slot them through there for now, but I think what would be wise to do would be to fit the handle to the rudder to make sure that I've got it centralised before I tie these off because obviously you need it to rest in the uh, straight position. Otherwise you'd be going around in circles wouldn't you? Right there we go. So we've got the handle here, 
probably gonna have to find a screwdriver I think to get this on but uh, bear with us we'll get this unwrapped oh, of course it's gone right inside the track as well hasn't it so that's gonna be tricky to get out isn't it right I found the screw get the handle on there we go I think that's uh, correct is it ah hang on no I think what will happen is when you put the screw in it'll pull that uh, little bit of metal up from in there I don't know if you can how well you can see this and I think I'm right as in I'm, I must have pulled up that little yeah there we go it's working a treat um, the only thing I'm worried about is if this ever does get compromised I suppose you would just take this off wouldn't you and do it that way but it's nice and stiff which is what I wanted because I want to be able to park it kind of thing do you know what I mean I want to be able to put it in the middle leave it there so I can paddle and pedal at the same time right I'm going to go back and do the ropes at the other end now right so this bit needs to come up here and needs to go in there so that we can get this uh rudder mechanism sorted so that just comes out I'm guessing you can see that and uh, goes in there, there we are. there's a little bit of shock cord here on that one so that you've got a little bit of movement for the uh, rudder once you attach these bits into here oh actually that's uh, ropes are twisted inside of there so I'm gonna have to sort that out ropes have gone over each other there so that's wrong and then that's twisted all the rest of them as well though isn't it oh that is a shame because we're gonna have to undo everything just to fix that little error let's have a little look see if we can do it that way Those two are all right. Unscrew this. And stick that in there. Like that. Is that the right way around? There we are. Right, so. get that in a few turns and then we'll be laughing there we are we're in so that was an easier fix than I thought anyway I'll tighten these up properly later I'm assuming this one on the top is not attached for transport because it would get knocked on there I suppose out of experience they've probably worked that one out so I'm going to tape these off uh, well, I tie the knot. So that's the rudder in place now. That was kind of easy, wasn't it? Um, I have done it before, though. Um, I mean, these are not like rudder knots <laughs> or anything I'm using there. They're just a little bit of a uh, trial and error, and I'll stick a little bit of a uh, trusty gaffer on there just to keep the loose ends tidy we'll give that a quick whiz so this is the easy bit really a uh, couple of g-star mounts as i said before basically well you know what i'm saying anything real blazer will fit in them yeah i don't have to spell it out for you do i right these are called galaxy g-star mounts and these are uh, pretty straightforward as well straight into there have it I think we're just about done well I'll clean everything up and then we'll have a we'll have a proper look at it there so you got the rudder there it was fairly easy to attach a cargo net here you've got a rail in here with lots of different inserts you can add loads of stuff as you like on the back flag whips whatever uh, rudder handle here nice and smooth works great 
course the pedal drive the reason I bought it there you go <laughs> that's where the magic happens isn't it and uh, you know, of course you've got this uh, tackle box in the middle which I use a lot on Mark 1 uh, you can use it as a bait well if you use this scupper plug or you can use it as a dry well if you use this one without the holes in dead straightforward really live bait well with this one dry tackle box with the other one also they've included this tackle box as well because uh, well why not it fits perfectly under the seat which is great perfect for lures as well that lots of nice compartments in there fit a stack of 25 gram fish black minnows in there wouldn't I eh? <laughs> or tributes anyway uh, 2G star mounts you get those as well you've got these rails on the front with the brass inserts you can have loads of stuff in there but you can also fit mini ports in there and also here this bungee is for if you're landing uh, somewhere reasonably pleasant you can just use this bungee to lock the uh, paddles up and the paddles will be locked up like that but obviously because I'll be landing on rocky beaches and so on and so forth I'll just be taking the paddle drive out rather than risking knacking it so there you have it eh overall I'm quite impressed brass inserts everywhere for you to stick stuff on you know you could put another G-Star mount on there if you wanted uh, one of the sideways on ones um, got a paddle park as well on have you got a paddle park on both sides I don't know let's go and have a look no paddle park on the one side on the right side which is fine because that's the side I use anyway and of course you've got your uh, uh, rudder up and down here a little bit of shock cord in there as well because you need that because you've got to have a bit of slack brilliant chuffed with that we'll have uh, one last little pass at it